Hi everyone, I am Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter team of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I'm so happy that you found me today for this great video. And it's a question I get asked a lot, so I figured let's make a video. The question is, can I part a wig on any side, any way that I want it? And my answer is, sometimes yes sometimes no and it's funny because when women are new wig wearers they're used to having parted their hair one way most of their lives and not really switching around much but if you asked your friends or family what side do you part your hair on most of them are not going to know so the honest truth is for me i'd rather have a wig look great and parted in a way I'm not used to so that it looks good but anyway right now I'm going to show you a long wig a shoulder length a shorter and a super short wig and let's see if we can part them anyway okay so first of all we have a Candace wig I have it up right now let me just show you and I think my opinion or what typically happens is the longer the wig, isn't this beautiful? The longer the wig, the easier it is to switch apart. So let's just do it. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? And remember on our wigs, if you want bangs on this Candace, you'll just take it and have it trimmed or follow one of our tutorials on our 300 wig videos on our YouTube channel, Godiva's Secret Wigs. And if you want length, you can cut it shorter. But I digress. I want to stay on the part conversation. So easy. Let's try it again. Well, that was a breeze, right? Okay, let's try a little shorter. This wig is Rochelle. Typically, we are styling a wig with a particular part in mind, and typically it goes from left to right. But that doesn't mean it needs to be that way. So, here we are, our typical way. Again, you could trim bangs. You could pull it up, you can make pigtails, do whatever you want. Let's part it right to left and see what happens. You know, when you're playing with your wigs, it's also really important to have washed your hands because our faces have our oils and dirt perspiration. We touch our face all day long. So just a little hint, you'll keep your wigs cleaner longer if you've washed your hands before you play with them and mess with them. So there again, a longer machine teased wig. Let's just take it back so you can see again. Or let's say you don't want a part. Let's just try that all the way straight back for the majority of it. It works too. Okay, let's go shorter. I'm going to put a Freedom on. And let's give this little guy a whirl. So again, it's typically left to right. I just like using my hands. I barely even use the brush. Okay, that's the typical way. Let's go right to left. Gee, I think I'm having some good success. And sometimes you will even like that, you know, some clients will like that sexy little look. You trim the bangs a little bit. Or sometimes parting it a different way will make it a little flatter or a little more height. Remember that you can tease any of these wigs. Our teasing brush, see how high that gets? And then you just play. So I have worn my freedom this way for just a different look. So let's take it back, left to right. 
Isn't this a fabulous wig? Love it, love it, love it. Every color, including the hottest grays you've ever seen. And so now, let's just go super short. Let's see what we get. So, again, we're going to typically go left to right. I'm right at the hairline. And this is just a great little pixie cut. Okay, let's try it the other way. So look at that. I think we've had success on every wig. <sighs> Pretty amazing. So there you go. But the main answer is have a critical eye and let your own typical root side go that you're used to with your own hair and just be willing to try something a little different. If you are stubborn about changing your parts, then we need to talk because <laughs> the fun with wigs is just trying new things, new lengths, new colors, and even new parts. So I hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.